Hello and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. My name is Dr. Katherine Constant. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy. How are you today? I hope all is well with you. Today is August 11th. Today is Sunday. You know, um, if you've been following me, you know that I always say Sunday is for worship. And it is. It's where we go to the um, house of the Lord and we gather with other pe believers and we worship God together um, as a congregation and we give God praise. But really, every day is a day for worship. Every day should be a day where we celebrate God. So our blessing today is a relationship, a relationship. And that relationship is with God. That is our August blessing today. And not just a relationship with God, but also a relationship with others. That's a blessing that we do not have to live life in isolation, but that we can have family and friends and um, we can worship and we can enjoy one another together. But I wanted to spend a little time this morning talking about worship and why worship is so important. And um, in Isaiah 29 verse 13 in the Amplified Bible, it says, Then the Lord said, Because this nation approaches me only with their words, and honors me only with their lip service, but they remove their hearts far from me, and their reverence for me is a tradition that is learned by rote without any regard for its meaning. And I think that is what has happened to Sunday worship, or the Sunday uh, time of fellowship when we come together with one another in the house of the Lord, that it's become rote, it's become tradition. And it's lost its value because instead of worshiping the Creator, we've, we're, we're worshiping the process. We're worshiping um, the tradition. And, and that's a problem. That's a problem. Um, Psalms 150 says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to the abundance of His greatness. Praise Him with trumpet and sound. Praise Him with harp and lyre. Praise Him with tambourine and dance. Praise Him with string instruments and flute. Mm. Praise Him with resounding cymbals. Praise Him with loud cymbals. Let everything that has breath and every breath of life praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is what it's all about. It's about having an attitude of thanksgiving and praise to our God. It's about praising Him. Hallelujah. It's about worshiping Him. It's about having a thankful heart that God has decided to create you and me so that we can experience life. That's what it's about. That we can share our life with others. And as we come together, all of us together, saying thank you, Lord, it becomes a loud sound of praise. It becomes that loud sound that is spoken here together. And that's why I say Sunday is for worship. It's not because I just want people to go to church. No, because a lot of people go to church, but that doesn't mean that they're giving God praise. That doesn't mean that they're worshiping Him. 
they're worshiping the tradition so ah, I put in my two hours of worship that's it mm -mm. and for some people when they go to church it's like oh I gotta stay here for an hour and a half why is church so long why do they have to do all of that and but that's not the point that's not the point of worship the point of worship is to get into the presence of God and to have a heart that is happy to be with him when you're happy to be with the person that you love then you are willing to worship and that's what it's all about I particularly like this verse it says let them praise his name with dancing let them sing praises to him with the timbrel and the lyre and so for me my August blessing is the fact that I can dance before the Lord that I can dance and be happy and that my dancing and my praising brings joy to God because it is a form of worship it's a form of thanksgiving and I'm saying Lord I am grateful to be alive and I'm glad that you are my God and that you created me so that I can worship you and I think that's what worship is all about it's about giving God praise so we worship where God isn't moving by the quality of our voice but by the condition of our hearts and that's a Chris Tomlin he said that worship is where God isn't moved by the quality of our voice but by the condition of our heart and it worship is a heart thing it's about where is your heart what is your focus what are you into? What are you meditating on? What has your attention? Does God have your attention? And so that's why every morning when I wake up and I come here and I look for the August blessings is because I want my attention to be focused in on God. Worship isn't an activity but rather it's a heart posture that holds God in the highest esteem. Just like these flowers. They hold God in the highest esteem. These flowers, yes they do. And they know their purpose. They're here to give God glory. And in the same instance, we get some, some pleasure out of this because the flowers are doing exactly what they came on the planet to do a rose is a rose have you ever heard that saying a rose is a rose is a rose mm -hmm. and it's not anything else but a rose we can identify a rose by its appearance by its look by its smell a rose is a rose and there are different types of roses but we know that a rose is a rose yeah we know that it's a rose we know of what gen genus it is in um, and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do and we were made to worship we were made to praise God and we're going to worship something in our lives if it's not um, God, then we're going to worship something. And worship is a divine appointment with our God. It is both an extravagant expression and a reserved stillness. It is a singing and it is a silence. It's being still and knowing Him. He is God. And it's celebrating with banners and dancing. It doesn't matter what type of song we sing whether it's a hymn or a popular song what matters what's most important to God is that when we worship that we worship from our heart it's a heart experience so even when we're in the garden are we worshiping the garden or are we worshiping the creator of the garden the one who allowed us to experience this garden are we worshiping God and that's what it's about
and we receive comfort from worship because we are doing what we were brought here on the earth to do. So let's make worshiping through music and dance and gardening and relationship and all these things. Let us make it an amazing experience to the Creator, the one whom we love from the heart. Amen. So let us pray. Father God, we just want to say thank you that every day is for worship. But Lord, we thank, we're thankful that we can designate this day, Sunday, a day of worship where we come together with other people to give thanks and praise to the Lord. To give you a note of praise. To give you a note of worship for all the good things that you have done. Help us, Lord, to worship you from the heart. And thank you for the gift of worship. Thank you for the gift of love. Hallelujah. That you placed in us. Thank you for letting us know that we can worship you and the purpose for our lives. Thank you, Lord, for this garden in which we can worship you in. And thank you, Lord that we can sing and that we can dance and express our love for you that we can garden hallelujah we can be happy we can rejoice as we worship you in jesus mighty name we pray amen Remember to subscribe to Lady Wisdom Speaks Academy on YouTube. Be blessed.